Good morning, friends. So my my content is generally about the same subject. Me trying to learn a new way of creating my life, actually. <clears throat> I'm over here in the Dutch Bros line again. <laughs> Makes me laugh. <laughs> me and my addiction to Dutch Bros. Anyway, or somewhat. I only go a couple days a week, so that's not that bad. Anyway, so this is what happens for me is so I get this image in my mind of of a different idea or an idea that I would like to experience so I get this I whatever it is like for a job for a relationship whatever I get I have this general idea and I and I do a lot of imagination around it I do all of this imagination around it. And so like there are times where like I will spend like exorbitant amounts of, of time in this new <laughs> reality that hasn't yet uh, manifested in my life yet. Another word that I'm like not into these words that are generally used for these things, but you all know what I'm talking about because it's all over the place in content. And, and so there's a Dutch Bros guy trying to move some stuff and I'm trying to get out of his way. <laughs> anyway, so <clears throat> what I was thinking about today, there's a scientific uh, uh, idea about, I guess, um, particles or things that vacillate between matter and antimatter I think I, I could be saying this incorrectly but anyway I have this visual where like you like you can see the sphere a certain way and then in the next the next picture it's 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 almost like it's its opposite and you can see it and I feel like I do this I vacillate back and forth between living in my mind at least in this new reality and then and then kind of crashing down into my actual reality and having fear and doubt. So I go back and forth between these two, these two ideas <clears throat> that everything, that what I am desiring is entirely possible and is imminent and it is there, I just can't see it and all of these ideas. And then I go to um, what is happening? Why hasn't, is it not there? I can't see it. Um, all this doubt just takes me over. <clears throat> and so I'm just, I'm just becoming very aware of this. So now, now the challenge is, is to, is to just be brave, to be brave and just do the thing just to, to, have the bravery to to attempt the thing that I am to, to attempt to not allow myself to be succumb to the negativity to like just focus on the belief and hold that belief and not focus on the doubt and so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm practicing that. I'm getting ready to, and I'll let you guys know afterward, I, I'm getting ready to do something that for me is pretty big. It's not for other people, I'm sure. I'm, you know, I'm sure that other people would not have as much trouble with this, but I tend to be a calculated risk taker. And I think that's a detriment to me. And I have to start learning to make decisions more quickly and and I'm either gonna fail or I'm not. And it's okay, if I fail, I fail, it's okay. And, and I'll regroup and I'll, and I'll figure it out. Cause I always have 100% of the time that I have taken a risk, I've always landed on my feet as all of us, as all of us, we always, always, it always turns out. And making this big leap could be very exhilarating. Like even when I think about it, it gets me so happy and like, I'm just so excited. I feel like I'm on like, um, on a diving board and I'm ready to dive in. And, and that is very, very exciting. Anyway, love you guys. I'll be back. <laughs>